make something clear and I want to be as transparent as real as possible. Your boy, the one and only, Philly Dom, ain't a passport bro. Let me say it again. Your boy, the one and only, Philly Dom, ain't a passport bro. Let me say it one more time. Your boy, the one and only, Philly Dom, is not a passport bro. Not a passport bro. I've been traveling my whole life. Unless the passport bro movement started in the 70s, the 80s, and the 90s, then I'm not a passport bro. And far as I can remember, it started around 2020. I've been traveling, I've been doing YouTube content since 2018. Shout out to my boy, I am Myra. He's the one that started me off in YouTube. But I've been traveling my whole life. Like the first time I stepped out of the country, I didn't record it. We were taking pictures back then. I didn't record it. I've been traveling my whole life. I've been traveling my whole life. So I get offended when people say, yo, Philly Dom is a passport bro. I was just on somebody's channel the other day. I ain't gonna give them no recognition. I ain't gonna try to help them blow up their channel or anything like that. Call me a hater, call me whatever you want, but I'm not giving them no free advertisement. I was on their show and they didn't want me to be on the show because they said I was a passport bro, which is a negative. I am not a passport bro. I have nothing against the movement. You know, it is what it is. You know, brothers got to go travel. I'm all for brothers and anybody. Because Passport Bros, people try to make it as like it's only uh, black guys that are Passport. What's up guys, how you doing today? You rocking out with the one and only Philly Dom. I'ma coming to you. I'ma coming to you. I'ma coming to you directly and live from the mighty, mighty DR. And today I like to uh, talk about a topic that keeps coming up and it's big. It's a big deal and everybody's talking about it. And this is this passport bro movement. Yes, I'm talking about the passport bro movement. A big topic everybody talks about it and it's always 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 something about the passport bro movement and how bad how 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 bad the situation is and how everybody keeps hating on anybody that's a passport bro but i want you guys to know something today and i want to say it loud and i want to say it clear to all you vloggers out there to all you people out there that listen listen to these other vloggers and they say this and they say that and i want to make something clear and i want to be as transparent as real as possible your boy the one and only philly dom ain't a passport bro let me say it again your boy, the one and only Philly Dom, ain't a passport bro. Let me say it one more time. Your boy, the one and only Philly Dom, is not a passport bro. Not a passport bro. I've been traveling my whole life. Unless the passport bro movement started in the 70s, the 80s, and the 90s, then I'm not a passport bro. And far as I can remember, it started around 2020. I've been traveling, 
I've been doing YouTube content since 2018. Shout out to my boy, I am Myra. He's the one that started me off in YouTube. But I've been traveling my whole life. Like the first time I stepped out of the country, I didn't record it. We were taking pictures back then. I didn't record it. I've been traveling my whole life. I've been traveling my whole life. So I get offended when people say, yo, Philly Dom is a passport bro. I was just on somebody's channel the other day. I ain't gonna give them no recognition. I ain't gonna try to help them blow up their channel or anything like that. Call me a hater, call me whatever you want, but I'm not giving them no free advertisement. I was on their show and they didn't want me to be on the show because they said I was a passport bro. Which is a negative. I am not a passport bro. I have nothing against the movement. You know, it is what it is. You know, brothers got to go travel. I'm all for brothers and anybody. Because passport bros, people try to make it as like it's only uh, black guys that are passport bros. You know what I mean? And then they say, oh, they can't get no girls in their country or the States or England or Canada, whatever. And that's why they travel. And they always try to label it like a black, black movement. But white boys travel, Asian guys travel, Latin guys travel the same as well. You know what I mean? But now anytime black people do something, it's always a little extra on it. So I don't even know who coined that phrase, uh, passport bro, but once again, I'm not a passport bro, but I don't knock them, I don't knock the movement. I'm happy to see anybody able to leave their country and travel abroad to another country. I think that should be a requirement in life. If it's possible for you to travel to another country and sit there for a little bit of amount of time, I know some people got wives, they got kids, they got family, so it's hard for them to travel to these different countries and stuff like that and they have obligations. But they, it's a thing called vacation. They can vacate instead of going to Miami and uh, New York and California and local stuff. Go to Mexico. Go to, uh, I was going to say Trinidad. Trinidad looking kind of crazy right now with the Chris, Christmas list thing. But, you know, go to Trinidad. Go to Jamaica. Go to Puerto Rico. Uh, go to Dominican Republic, man. Um, go to uh, Serbia, man. Go to Denmark, Poland, Australia. Wherever your heart desires. But I think everybody needs to travel somewhere you know what i mean it's just good just a, a big cultural thing but now back to these passport bros now we got these passport bro bros traveling what i understand you know because i'm a, a travel youtuber content creator what i understand is they all travel for different things but i know the dictionary the dictionary says that uh passport bros um men who are are well, they said, let me make sure I get this right, man. I'm going to read this. I'm looking on my screen right now. Make sure I read this for you guys and let you guys know what's going on. Passport bros are men who prefer to date foreign women in other countries. That's what they say in passport bros are. I mean, some guys travel for women. Some people travel for women, food, culture. Everybody travels for different things. Females, you got passport, <laughs> what was it? Passport sisters that travel as well. To other countries, you know, because they saying that they can't find a man in the country they're in and stuff like that. But I mean, for me traveling, you it's hard to be able, it's hard to travel just for one thing. So you have to be traveling for multiple things, you know, good food, good weather. You know, people come to places like I'm in the Dominican Republic right now. They come here because it's a beautiful country, uh, good food, the weather. You know what I mean? It's cheaper, it's affordable, it's a different way of live. People come to these different countries for different reasons. So the dictionary is saying, the urban dictionary says that they're traveling to, um, to date foreign women in other countries. So, But I, I've been on the road for years and years and years and years and years now. And um, people are traveling to these countries for many different rings. Different things, different rings, different things, not just for women. So uh, I want to put that out there. But I mean... Like I said, I don't knock the passport bro movement. If you got money and you able to travel and you want to go in these other countries, you do it. If you go in there for a certain thing, that's what it is. But um, it's your money, it's your time, it's your effort. I don't think nobody can, um, you know, tell somebody what they can do with their own money unless you like paying for their trips and sponsoring and everything. And last time I checked, 
when I talk to passport bros, it ain't too many people back home in their hometowns or their home country sponsoring their trips to come here. So I don't really think they have a say so. You know what I mean? So it is what it is. But your boy, once again, your boy, the one and only Philly Dom is not a passport bro. That's why I did this video to let you see, man. I am not a passport bro. Now, I travel to some passport bro countries let's be honest they say colombia is a passport bro country they say brazil is a passport bro country they say the dr is a passport bro country and they say thailand is a passport bro country now i've been to other countries like el salvador haiti nicaragua costa rica panama canada mexico belize puerto rico now, these are not passport bro countries, and that's just the name of few countries I've been to. And some of these countries I've been before YouTube. I've been to Canada before YouTube. I've been to Puerto Rico before YouTube. I've been coming to the Dominican Republic my whole life, and that was before YouTube. I have not recorded a video. I never started recording a video, like I said earlier, until 2018. Late 2018 was the first time I picked up a camera and I recorded my travels. 2018 and then I had to go back up to Alaska to work there for a whole year to make enough money to be full-time content creator so I am a travel vlogger that's what I do and my style of travel vlogging is I document my my, my scenery everything I document what's around me my scenery was anything that's around me you know, I don't, I'm not your typical travel vlogger that just goes to all the historical sites and stuff like that. Because I would be fake if I did that. I would be fake. I would be being fake to you guys. Because when I was going to these countries before camera, I go to the bars, I go to the restaurants, I go to the nightclubs, I go to uh, the beach. I have a like little, you know, places I like to go. So all I'm doing is just documenting my travels when I'm in another country and letting you see to give you guys intel and information. So if you want to travel, you can come here. But once again, I am not a passport bro. I want to say that loud and I want to say it loud and clear because I'm tired of people calling me a passport bro. I went on another channel and talked on it the other day. And I'll swipe them out because I want that channel to do good and I want that channel to blow up. I like the guy personally. His name is JT. So I'm going to shout his channel out. I went on his channel. He didn't ask me what I was password, bro. But when I was on the live, there was another guy on the live with me. Another king and guy on the live with me. It was three of us on the live talking about the Christmas list situation in uh, Trinidad. And the other guy, not JT, but the other guy that was on the live text me on the you know on the back line and was like yo philly dom is it true that you're a passport bro i am not a passport bro once again i will say this through this whole rest of the video i'm not a passport bro and i'm not against the passport bro movement i'm happy to see brothers traveling and going different places and not stabbing and killing each other in their countries you know what i mean and not putting up with mess because sometimes you got to leave um you got to leave your uh your comfort zone to go somewhere else to, you know, find a happy place. And for some people, it's a happy place, you know, for them to travel and go places. Other people, they're content being in the United States, being in Canada, being in Europe. You know, it might everything might be working out for them, but some people need to go to other places and experience different things. But I personally would say I want everybody to be able to travel somewhere. Anybody that's able to travel somewhere should be able to travel I said, dude, what would I say? If somebody, I catch myself right there. Uh, what did I say? Um, if you're able to travel, you need to go to these different countries and these different places and explore and see what's going on in these different places. Because you only live once, man. This is not a rehearsal, guys. You only live once. Even if it's for one week, two weeks, three weeks, a month, whatever, 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 whatever. Get out, see the world. But yeah, my content, I just, once again, my content, I just document what's around me. When I was in New York, and I would see New York as my hometown now, and I'll be in, not my hometown, let me not say that, shout out to Philly, 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 so, no, shout out to Philly, that's where I'm from, but New York is uh, where I'm staying at, and I have an apartment and everything there, that's where I'm residing at, but you know, I just had to get on the road for a little bit, I'll be back in New York soon, and I will be, you know, doing some more migrant content, but you know, anytime I get a chance to leave the country and travel to these different places, I will do my travel vlogs and stuff like that. 
But um, that's it for now. You know, I had to say that. Once again, I am not a passport bro. You have a good morning, good afternoon, good night. And your boy, the one and only Philly Dom, will see you guys in the next video. Holla back at your boy later. Peace, love, and happiness. Peace out. Oh, yeah.